Morning friends, this is Kathy from um, Honey Creek United Methodist Church in Middletown, Indiana. And today we're going to have a, a little chat about what happened after um, Mary went to visit Elizabeth and tell her her good news. So um, I wanted to let you know that I'm gonna have Mary visit us on this today and that this is kind of divided into three parts. At least that's the way I see it. So um, I see the first part of Mary talking to Elizabeth. She's, she's um, singing the praises of the Lord um, to Mary. And um, she may not be singing, but in a lot of um, cultures, this is Luke chapter 1, verses 46 to 55 is considered Mary's song. And other cultures also is called the Magnificent, which is, means magnify in Latin. And um, so Mary is magnifying the name of the Lord and uh, singing praises to, to Mary because she knows Mary understands what she's going through. So um, in the first part, I see Mary is um, praising the Lord for what he has done for her. And she has been strong in her faith and the Lord has blessed her with this child that she's carrying. And so she's praising the Lord for that. And then in the second part, I see where Mary is praising the Lord for what he has done in the past and his actions um, that have led up to this um, miracle and how he has taken care of the people in the past. And she's praising the Lord for what he has done then. And, he, and she knows Elizabeth understands because Elizabeth has been through the same thing she has. And then in the third part, I see Mary talking about um, the future and how God has promised uh, Abraham and his family and his children for ages and ages that he will um, keep his promise to show them mercy. So that's how I see this, uh, what they call Mary's song or Mary's song of praises. So I thought I would bring Mary in today and we discuss this um, and let her maybe sing the song uh, it's not exactly like it is in the Bible. I changed a few words to try to make it like a like a song, like a hymn we sing. But I hope you'll listen to them and realize that what she's saying is what I was speaking about just now. And I wanted to say this one thing before I stop. When you listen to this, God, just like Mary and Jesus both in his ministry, both of them, God accepts us as we are. But when he comes into our lives and the Spirit fills us, he doesn't leave us as we are. We are changed and we are better for it. So I'm going to um, do this song with Mary. And if you'll just wait just a minute, I'll go get Mary. Hi, I'm Mary. I came to sing my song to the Lord. Oh, how I praise the Lord, how I rejoice in my Savior. He took this lowly servant girl, his blessed son he gave her to raise and share with all the world. The mighty one showed her favor and blessed to all she will always be. His mercy will last forever. Now listen to what my God has done. I've seen it so very clearly. He scattered those who are proud in their thoughts and brought down bad rulers. Now hear ye. My Lord has lifted the humble, giving them honor and dignity and filled the hungry with hope and food while sending the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel and not forgotten his promise to Abraham and all his clan to show mercy to the end forever. So now you um, heard Mary's song that kind of tells about um, how she felt and how she was speaking with Elizabeth. And you understand now what I was talking about earlier. Now you've probably also noticed that I have earmuffs on. The reason is I know Mary can't sing. So I was trying to muffle the sound a little bit. Yep, you're right, you can't sing. I was trying to muffle the sound a little bit because she is way off key. But you understand what she was saying and I hope you'll always remember that this Christmas season, we are, we're all about singing praises to the Lord for everything that we have in our lives. No matter how bad things get, there's always a silver lining. 
See you next week. Bye.